Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I... What? That's not how that one goes. What's wrong with... Suffer, suffer, scream in pain. Blood is spilling from your brain. Daddy. Come on, you know how I sang it to you. Zombies know Why you like, like a plum. plum. Piercing plum. cries and you succumb. Still works. Ever since Johnny and Mavis had their little monster, I've been the happiest vampire in the world! Are we sure he's a vampire? Ah! Technically, you have until you're five to get your vampire fangs. Oh, he'll get his fangs. He's just like me. Look at him! Blah, blah, blah. I don't say blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm in love. We've been talking about moving somewhere safer for Dennis. <laughs> But then I'll be all alone. Yeah, don't give me the pouty bat face. We gotta teach this kid how to be a monster. Wow. If we get his fangs to come out, Mavis can't leave. Robby, you okay out there? <laughs> He's fine. He's blobby. Okay, Murray, show him how to be scary. Oh, me no brutal that we go! My back. <laughs> For real. We're so happy you came to visit. I love California. 48 flavors. This place is open all night. Right, sir? Yes. <laughs> She's gonna wanna move. I gotta fix this kid now. How are we doing? Oh, he's adorable. How cute. <laughs> you know who could fix the kid in a snap? Vlad. Hi, Dad. Are we ready to do this? <laughs> Guys, we're running out of time. I'm sorry, Blobby. We really meant to call you sooner. <laughs> okay, fellas, plan B. Coming through. Happen on. Hit it. Are you kidding me? I have mixed feelings about this. On the one hand, I loved the first film. It was a really pleasant surprise. Uh, so in some ways, the sequel doesn't need to sell me on going to see the film. And I guess when I'm so firmly entrenched in the camp of, I'm going to go see it, the only thing a trailer can really do is maybe loosen me a little bit from that commitment, which I'm afraid that the second trailer does to some degree. Why? Well, it seems to be moving away from the very authentic Halloween uh, comedy that the first film was into an all-out Adam, Adam Sandler comedy. You know, like Grown Ups 3, Transylvania edition. Uh, it just was such a strong focus on uh, Dracula hanging out with his buds, uh, who are of course voiced by Adam Sandler's, you know, usual entourage, that I started to just get that sense with the film, instead of, you know, the focus on uh, the first film, which was Dracula and his daughter Mavis, and then of course, uh, you know, uh, this new guy that comes into their lives. You know, that was a really interesting dynamic. Uh, and here, that seems to be gone. I do like what they're doing with Mavis, who, by the way, Selena Gomez sounds so much like Reese Witherspoon. I'm, I keep being like, oh, that's Reese, Reese Witherspoon. No, no, it's Selena Gomez. Uh, but I really like the character of Mavis, and I love uh, the subplot. Well, I, you know, it's, it's not supposed to be the subplot. That's supposed to be the A plot. Will she move away? Uh, and, you know, Dracula has to stop that. Uh, but instead, that's become the subplot to, again, the typical Adam Sandler shenanigans with his entourage. But I do like the idea, you know, it's, it's a good... It's a good evolution of the first film's conflict. You know, she can't marry a human. Okay, now she can't move to a human neighborhood. I think that works really well. And I love the bit with the slushies, by the way. And I thought it was a really nice touch that when she was drinking them, she had rainbow teeth. I thought that was great. Uh, and those are the kind of, you know, attention to detail that I think made Gendy Tartakovsky stand out so much with the first film. You know, being like, oh, this is a special guy. This is, a, you know, he's going to bring something really special to Sony Animation. And he did. But with the sequel, again, I see, I guess that's the thing. I see less Gendy, more Adam Sandler. Uh, and I, I think that, you know, if, if in order for this to succeed, it needs to be a good balance 
uh, as opposed to Sandler winning out. Uh, I think the trailer was the best at the end when they had you know the Born This Way song come on. I was like, ah, an oldie but a goodie. Uh, and they added some energy. And then also Mel Brooks seemed like his character, his, uh, his uh, you know, uh, the father of uh, Adam Sandler's character would add some like actual maybe like tinge of evil to it like that one shot where he's like casting a spell or doing some kind of evil vampire magic I was like that's pretty cool and I want to see that dark uh, monster level to this that I think is a little bit absent from the second trailer or first full trailer so what do you think? Does this look as good as the first uh, Hotel Transylvania to you? And who do you think should be the more dominant voice here? Uh, Gendy or Adam? Uh, write your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning into my review. And you can check out some other episodes right now.